Hello everyone. Today we're gonna learn how to do a role-based authentication in Jenkins uh, using the Active Directory. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll try to create few groups in Active Directory, and I'll try to link those groups to Jenkins so that uh, I'll not be using the the generate logins which Jenkins has, which it says to its uh, local Jenkins uh, database. So I want to do the uh, authentication through the Active Directory. So let's do that. For that, I'll try to log into the uh, remote desktop web access. You can also do the RDP. So let's do this and I'll try to create two groups over here. The first one would be for uh, for the for the admin, which will be the Jenkins admin, and the second one would be for the developers. So do that let's launch the active directory it's prompting for the password looks like it's taking some time so meanwhile what I can do is I can directly log into the RDP and I'll go to the users and I'll click on right and I'll right click and I'll do create new group and I'll name it as Jenkins admin that's it uh, rest all options will be the default and the second group would be Jenkins developer so we're just giving two uh, <coughs> we're just creating two roles or the groups over here uh, so we just want to keep it simple uh, admin can do whatever he wants to do and the developer can create the jobs he can delete create edit he can do whatever uh, at his level so he'll not be having access to the administration so our groups are ready now what i'll do is i'll go back to the jenkins Let's close this off. And I'll go to the manage Jenkins and here you'll see an option which is known as manage and assign rules. You'll get this option uh, by going to the manage Jenkins and then clicking on manage plugins and now in the filter option just search for role I should just do a role I mean I have to go to the available tab and search for role let me check the name of the plugin which I have installed Authorization credentials. It should be authorization. Active directory. Oh, I should go to the installed ones. I'm sorry. And here you can see. Uh, let me bring it down. Role based authorization strategy so this is what you have to install once you're done with this you go back to the manage Jenkins and you go to the uh, configure global security and then you go to the uh, you just click on the this, uh, the active directory you configure your domain then you go you scroll down and go to the authorization and at the end you see a role based strategy so just enable this apply save go back to the Jenkins click on manage Jenkins and scroll down and click on manage and assign roles so once you go over here you see a three options the first is for creating a new role assigning a role the second one and the third one is for role strategy macros so I have already created two roles the first one is by default which is for the admin the second one is for the developer so the developer can uh, can uh, read can 
create uh, and remove the create options also so he can basically read the overall uh, uh, I mean the administration thing but he cannot do anything he can play around with the jobs and he can play around with the he can execute the jobs he can uh, view configure jobs and that's it so let me apply and save it now what I'll do is I'll try to add a new group so what I did is I basically directly assign the roles to the users and I'm gonna remove that now what I'll do is I'll write in Jenkins hyphen admin and I'll click on add and I'll give admin access to that group and now what I'll do is I'll click on developer I'll click on add and I'll give the developer access and I'll click on apply and save when I go back to the manage rules I'm sorry I have to go to the users assign rules you see the icon changed from uh, <clears throat> from the normal one anonymous to the uh, the users which we have created under the active directory so now what I'll do is I'll remove my role from here and I'll save it and now I'll try to log in uh, I'll log out and log in and it should throw an error saying I don't have sufficient permissions uh, so if I do it's not giving let's uh, restart Jenkins and before that I have done some changes to to bypass the security so what I'll do is I'll go back and yes it's done okay so it, it basically so because <clears throat> I have enabled the security it overrides your existing configuration uh, file so as you see if I go back again and this is the line which you add whenever you want to bypass your security and I mean there is a scenario where uh, you have <coughs> linked your uh, active directory with Jenkins and you have disabled the, the local database users uh, login and after that when you try to log in as you haven't assigned any role to that user it says you don't have specific permissions to do anything over here so what I do is you can just bypass it by adding this role over here and uh, and just uh, making it as false so right now it's true that means it's using the, uh, the security policies so what I'll do is I'll try to restart Jenkins like Jenkins is still using the init.d scripts so Jenkins restart so this basically restarts the Jenkins and now I try to log in or else let me close the browser and let me relaunch it and now oops it's working let me go back to the rules and click on manage uh, assign rules and let's see what we have it over there so administrator have access mm. okay so let me do this now let me try to add 
I'm not sure. I mean, I have to check it out. What exactly? Why it's still uh, giving me access to login? I mean, it should not show anything over there. So now what I'll do is I'll go back. I'll click on my name. And let me try to assign a developer role to myself. Jenkins developer apply. Okay. Now let me go back and. Okay, it looks like this is because uh, there is a line over there and it's that is what creating a problem. So what I'll do is I'll just remove that line. Mm. Authorization, I'll remove this one and I'll scroll down. Let's go scroll up and see if I have anything over here. Mm. Okay, it looks good. Authorization strategy. Now let me scroll up and see if, if that particular line exists anywhere in the config file. So, so the developer role has these access, the admin role has these access, and the administ Jenkin administrator. The okay administrator is a part of Jenkins admin. That's it. Okay. Done. So let me restart this and let me see what all groups in what all groups I have access. So if I go back and if I click on my name and if I go back. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. So now if I try to access it should throw an error to me. Let me try in a different browser and see if it works. Or it's still showing those jobs over there. If it's showing it, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty uh, risky thing. If I click on Jenkins, the dashboard shows the jobs. If I click, and if I want to delete any of the jobs, can I do that? Yeah, it's allowing me to do that is not good okay so let's try logging Okay guys, I was <clears throat> able to crack it off. The problem was uh, I have given access to the anonymous user as an admin. So even without logging in, what you can do is uh, let me let me show it off to you. So now I'm trying to log in as an 
administrator and I have access to anything so if I'll go to the manage Jenkins and I'll go back to the manage roles and if I see assign roles you see there is an option anonymous user so even if you don't have an access or even if you don't have the login ID to login to Jenkins if I give access to uh, the anonymous user as an admin you don't even need an access so it basically bypass your login credentials and you can access any jobs so I just disabled it and now it's working fine so as you see uh, we have two groups Jenkins admins and Jenkins developer so now what I'll do is uh, I'll give myself so if you see I see an option when I logged in as an administrator I see an option where I can manage Jenkins right now if I log out and if I click if I log in with my user ID you see my option to manage Jenkins just um, went away right it's because now I'm doing a role based authentication where I gave myself access as a Jenkins developer who can just play around with the jobs and not with uh, and, and can't do an administrative tasks so now what I'll do is uh, I'll remove the Jenkins developer and I'll add Jenkins admin so sorry so Jenkins admin and if I click on apply and now if I try to log in you see the difference let me see Bina now I get an option where I can do changes so this is how you play around with the administrative tasks now what I'll do is to make it uh, more smoother I'll remove the admin access from administrator and I give direct access from active directory so let me remove the axis and and I'll give the user to and delete the user that looks good so I'll click on apply saved now I'll log out and I'll go back uh, to the administrator click on member of and basically I don't need the the administrator to do anything so I'll log in with my ID only now and so let me do one thing let me give another user an access where he can play around as a developer so I'll give Jenkins developer access to the user and yep it should be good now so i'm i'm done with uh, today's session any questions let me know thank you